Okay, I'm biking home from my very far away farm school. And it's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on all of that rice that we were looking at last time. It's not like a pond with a couple little plants in it anymore. There's like legit stuff growing. Not that one. <laughs> but, you know, those. I think that's all rice. All of it. <laughs> all of it! <laughs> so much! <laughs> and all of that in there. That's poop. That's poop. And it smells terrible. Um, oh, we got some high school kids riding their bikes home. This is cute. I'm leaving a little later than I normally do, so I'm seeing interesting people as I ride the bike. I wonder if they'll say hello. Nah, he pretty intentionally avoided eye contact. Oh, oh well, whatever. Um, anyway. It's Tuesday, so that means I had sixth grade. And, um, as you know, there's been a chronicle of the problematic sixth grade class. Um, and actually, today it was really, really good. Oh, what's this guy doing? What's she doing? Oh. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, nice. Um, so today it was actually really good. Um, my dad came up with this great idea. Um, or at least he heard the idea from someone and then relayed it to me. Um, instead of making the entire class suffer for a couple of jerky kids who really are just being rude to me, um, kind of like take those jerky kids to task, I made a worksheet. <laughs> a really boring worksheet. Or basically, all you do is copy letters, copy words, practice your penmanship, which is, you know, stuff you ought to do. <laughs> so it's not pointless. It's just obviously not fun at all. And today, today was the last class before summer vacation, so I was like, I just want to play a game today. Does anybody not want to play a game? And of course, a couple of the little jerks raised their hand thinking they were being all cool, like, nah, I don't want to play the game. And I'm like, really? It's perfect. Here you go. And I gave them each a worksheet and I made them sit into the, in the corner of the room. And they were like, huh? Like, they honestly didn't expect me to react in that way. So they had to do the worksheet. They weren't allowed to talk to each other um, while we played the game. And the game was that you get to throw the magnet at the target on the board. And that's like the best game ever. Everyone loves that game. Um, so we played that game for like 10 minutes and I, was, I looked at the, and every, every time someone was like kind of bad attitude or obnoxious, I would give them a worksheet and tell them to go over and sit down. And it was really, really working. Suddenly everyone was being so positive. It was wonderful because no one wanted to do the worksheet. And then, you know, after 10 minutes, I'd, I'd, I'd say, okay, you can come over and play the game now. And I let them put down the worksheet and come over and play. Um, but, you know, if there's any indication that their attitude was getting Dame, hello bird, then I gave them the worksheet back and told them to sit down. It was really, really good. It was, it's like the perfect system. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, I, I had a really good time. I was worried. I was a little nervous. I wanted to talk to the teacher beforehand and tell him what I was going to do but I didn't get an opportunity to do that. So I was kind of like, I kind of surprised him with it, which I wish that hadn't happened. I wish that I had been able to talk to him beforehand, but uh, I didn't get the opportunity. So I kind of made him be the monitor, monitor the, the jerky kids doing the worksheet. And you know, by the end of the class, everyone was playing the game and everyone was having a good time or at least pretending they were having a good time, which is, which is all I need. <laughs> all I need. All I want is a good attitude so you don't ruin it for everyone. 
So um, I plan on continuing doing that and eventually I'm hoping that I won't need to threaten them with a worksheet. That we can just, you know, have a good time. And not worry about being jerks to each other, you know? <laughs> ah. I will force them to be good. Because I talked to the previous ALT at this school and I was like, oh gosh, there's this one class that's so jerky. And he was like, oh, I know exactly which class you're talking about. Because apparently they don't jumble the classes around, oddly. So they were the same last year. And so um, he knew exactly what class I was talking about. And he was like, yeah, there's nothing I can do. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to make them like me. <laughs> anyway, that's all that I can say about that. Uh, I still have, eh, at this point, I'm about a third of the way home, so I still have a while to go. <laughs> Bye!